Is there anyone with confidence in their martial skills?
It's clear you're made of star and stuff. How would you like to help us dispense some justice? We intend to punish a wicked official who's moved into the village up ahead. He's a villain who torments the people and deserves what's coming. Excellent. You have my thanks. Now, the man is surrounded by lackeys. We need to think of a strategy. We could overpower them if we all stormed the village, but there would be casualties. Alternately, we could sneak in and take them unawares, but it would limit our numbers. What approach do you think is best? Attacking in force or striking from the shadows? Together then, it will be an honor to fight beside you, my friend. Right, if it's decided, then let's not waste any time. Let's go, everyone! Break their line!
Now you! Think you can rebel against His Excellency? And we have you to thank for it. It was truly amazing, the way you fought. The official and his lackeys didn't stand a chance. We must keep up the good work and purge Japan of as many of their ilk as we can. Huh? Why would you dampen the mood by saying that? Well, no matter. You're tired too, I imagine. I'm glad that our paths crossed, my friend. Our country is safer with people like your good self on watch.
Excuse me, but could I ask? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I'm looking for my daughter and require your assistance. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is, until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace. I haven't seen her in years, but she must be exceedingly beautiful, like her mother. Indeed, she has a mother's distinctive hair and features. You'll know when you see her. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself. Oh, 
my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Lisa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? A foreign merchant bought out her contract, and now they live together. Here, I'll give you their address. You had to meddle in our business? Now you're going to pay! Thank you. Those expulsionists are truly an awful bunch. But tell me, why are you here? Surprised? You see, my mother was Dutch, and my father, Japanese. My father? Why? What could he possibly want all of a sudden? He abandoned me years ago. I know life's been tough for him, what with his business going under and mother passing, but I just started to forget about him. The selfish man. Ever since I can remember, my face has brought me nothing but pain. Even as a geisha, I had to dye my hair black. Is Papa really so ill? 
Very well, then. You may take my photograph. Also, you can let him know that I'm happy. you take care of the photograph. I'm not ready to meet just yet, but I'll consider it once I've sorted out my feelings. Took the photograph. Well, show it to me. Ah, oh, Lisa, goodness! Look how beautiful she is. I really can't thank you enough. You've really given me hope. 